I wanted to list these principles, the principles of economic freedom, which I think characterize good economic policy. And when we deviate from those, things don't go so well. And that's how it's been, I think, for the last 10 years or so. And when we're on track with those things, it's much better. And that's maybe the 80s and 90s until recently. For those who have read the book, they will note that there are several principles that are spelled out very easily. Let's talk about some of them. One of them is a predictable policy framework. Why is that important? Well, it's essential for anybody deciding on a, a job or deciding to start a business to know what policy is going to be. What's the tax policy going to be? What's the inflation rate going to be? What's the treatment of a of uh, investment going to be, all those things. And that's what we mean by predictable. you got to know what's going to happen. Predictable policy, I think it's probably most important in area which I like to think about, monetary policy. So what's the Fed up to? Are they going to raise interest rates and, and how and when? So that predictability helps. Same with taxes. You keep ta changing the tax law constantly, you don't know what to do. You don't know what the return is going to be. So predictability of policy is, is very important. You also emphasize the rule of law. It goes part and parcel with predictability. The rule of law is needed to know what's going to happen when you buy this property. What's going to happen when you open this business? Are, are you going to be able to have the rights to that in the future? Is the government going to change its policy? What about the he health care law? Are they going to change the health care law to, to exclude something that I took advantage of? All those things are, are so important. And, and I think what's What's also important, it, it creates a better economy. It, it's, it's something that we forget about sometimes. Economists too often don't emphasize the rule of law. But in certain situations like the fall, the fall of a part of the Soviet Union, we thought it was going to be great as economists, market economy and all that, but there was no real substantive rule of law. And as a result, things have not worked well.